Stanford University. Five times in the past, something has happened on the planet that's killed off a very large portion of the life forms and has taken a million years to reestablish. Fortunately, the last one was 65 million years ago when the dinosaurs bit the dust with a lot of other things. But we are now moving into another one of these events that could easily, easily ruin the lives of everybody on the planet because we're utterly dependent on the other organisms for our food, for our climate, for all sorts of things that we must have. The so-called natural services that other organisms provide. There's all kinds of evidence of this, not just in the loss of species, but uh, in the loss of populations that give us those services. There is a denier set of people who say, no, the biologists are uh, crazy, they're exaggerating, we're not, you know, species aren't disappearing all over the place, we're not entering a sixth mass extinction. The people at Berkeley studied the best fossil record for doing this, that is the mammal fossil record, and took a look at, on average, how fast were mammals going extinct when there wasn't a mass extinction episode. Extinction goes on all the time, but what makes one a mass extinction? episode. Uh, and it turns out that they found that the going on all the time rate was about two times as fast uh, as had previously been thought. But when you look at a conservative estimate of how fast mammals are going extinct today, it runs somewhere between, say, 15 and 100 times as fast as the new fast rate from the past. Mm -hmm.